Hey Aries, welcome to Shared Sentience. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really appreciate it. So this is going to be your general uh, weekly reading. Any information you guys need can be found in the description box down below. I do have personals open right now. I have a holiday special going on right now for $15.15. So that is going on for the month of February, okay? Um, those are where you can ask up to three love-related questions. I also have regular readings where you can ask up to four questions about pretty much anything for $25.25. So any information you all need on that can be found within the very bottom of the description box. I apologize for the lighting. I have a headlamp on, so if it starts to move, that's what this is, okay? I don't have power right now. So let's go ahead. There's an outage in that area. There was a big ice storm. So yeah, it's pretty much everybody in the tri-state area. Well, not everybody, but just a lot of people. Okay, so what's going on here for Aries? Past, present, future. Let's go for Aries, past, present, future. Okay. See if I can move these over a little bit. Future energies here. Okay. So your overall is going to be the magician. Okay, so we have Virgo and Gemini energy here. So I'm going to get a deck to clarify with. So let me roll over here and grab this. Okay. So basically, if you guys are familiar with tarot, you know that the magician is all about manifestation, law of attraction, the way that you speak to the universe. Let me see if I can just, what goes on when I do this? Yeah, you can't see anything, so I'm just going to leave it the way it is. Okay, so um, yeah, the, ma the magician is all about manifestation, law of attraction, things of that nature, the way that you speak to the universe. So I feel like this week there's going to be something significant about that. Okay, um, in your past position, you do have the queen of swords, Libra energy. Okay, you also have the four of swords, Jupiter in Libra. Okay, and then you have the knight of pentacles, Virgo energy. All right, yeah, so it seems like there's a really cold energy here in the past. There's something Let's go ahead and clarify what's going on here with this Queen of Swords. What's going on with this Queen of Swords in the recent past for Aries, please? Okay, we're getting the High Priestess, all right? So that's Pisces energy. There's something here that you were keeping to yourself, or um, there's something here that feels like you were putting something on the back burner, okay? Your truth, uh, your wisdom, and something like that. Tell me about the Four of Swords. In order to welcome something else in okay so basically i feel like you were in a people pleasing energy here in the past you were trying to accommodate someone or something okay talk about the four of swords please for aries in the recent past three of cups yeah it's possible that this was a social circle or some kind of environment this could be family friends what's going on with the knight of pentacles please Ace of Wands, Fire, Aries, Sagittarius, Leo, okay? So now it seems like you guys are moving into a space where you want some kind of new beginning after you have been pretty much catering to other people. So that's how this feels to me here. Knight of Pentacles, it seems like you're moving towards something different, all right? Ace of Wands, something you're actually passionate about, okay? Um, so yeah, it seems like you've been in a very people-pleasing energy, kind of putting your needs and your wants on the back burner, okay? Let's clarify the Magician as the overall energy, please, for Aries. So we're getting the Four of Swords, all right? So some of you guys, there's something here that's um, been lying dormant within you as well. Uh, the Three of Cups can sometimes represent a harvest. So I feel like that's something that's coming to fruition here. Whatever you guys have been trying to manifest, it's happening, okay? So in your current energy, you have the Devil, which is Capricorn. You have the Nine of Pentacles, Venus and Virgo. And then you have the Page of Swords, Air, Gemini, Libra, and Aquarius. So let's go ahead and clarify this. Talk about the devil, please. What's going on with the devil? Okay, we're getting the seven of cups. There is some kind of illusion here. Um, you guys may feel like you are chained to something or someone. So this could be a job. You do have a lot of pinnacles here. Um, this could be like a social circle, um, an environment of some sort that I feel like you are feeling chained to. You feel like you can't move on from something here. Okay. So it could definitely be a connection, but I do feel like your bondage is an illusion. Anytime the devil shows up, that's what this means. Okay. So let's see if I can get this to go a little bit brighter. This is ridiculous. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. But 
If you look at the chains here around the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine, if you look at the chains around their necks, they could actually just lift those up and they would be free. So this is a card of being bonded to something, but your bondage is an illusion, okay? And the Seven of Cups clarifying that would actually tell me the same thing, okay? Because the Seven of Cups does represent an illusion, confusion, right? We also have the Nine of Pentacles here. So yeah, you can definitely stand on your own two feet, all right? We got Venus and Virgo energy here. So let's go ahead and clarify this. What's going on with the Nine of Pentacles here for Aries? I think some of you guys have been feeling trapped um, in a situation. And I feel like there is um, an energy here that has made you feel like you need them, all right? But I actually feel like this energy is dependent on you. It's not the other way around, okay? So Jupiter and Libra with this Eight of Swords, I feel like you guys actually are the ones who provide the stability in this situation, okay? You're the one who brings the money to the table or the passion to the connection, whatever this might be here. Um, I feel like you're actually the one who is needed and you have someone here who makes you feel like you are the one who is codependent on them. Tell me about the Page of Swords. Six of Wands, Jupiter in Leo. So you are getting recognition or attention for something this week. For some of you guys, this could be a promotion of some sort that you've been waiting on here. Um, but yeah, it seems like there's an energy that's trying to keep you comfortable. All right. It seems very well-meaning. Um, this could be a mother energy for some of you guys with this Queen of Swords showing up. Okay. Um, but I do feel like there is someone here who's trying to keep you comfortable. It could be an air sign. All right. Trying to keep you safe you know, planting seeds of fear, of doubt, when it comes to some kind of new beginning you're trying to have here, okay? But I feel like you will, you know, continue to push forward because you move from this six of wands, you have the seven of wands in the future energy. So yeah, I feel like this is definitely something to watch out for because the page of swords, it can be a card of somebody who's curious, all right? To me, it can be a card of somebody who has hidden motives as well. Uh, they're afraid to swing the sword here. I feel like there's somebody here who is putting on a different face, all right? So whatever that means to you and your future energy, you have the six of swords, all right? So this is uh, Mercury and Aquarius. Some of you could have that placement. You have the Seven of Wands, Mars and Leo. And then you have the King of Pentacles, um, Taurus energy, okay? So we're going to go ahead and clarify this here. Talk about the Six of Swords, please, for Aries. You have the Hierophant, Taurus, okay? Tell me about the Seven of Wands. That one wanted to flip. What is it? The Nine of Cups, Jupiter in Pisces. And then tell me about the King of Pentacles, please. The world, fixed energy, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo, okay? So for the most part, I basically feel like this week, there's something here that you guys have been trying to manifest for a long time, all right? Um, while waiting on this, because the Knight of Pentacles would tell me that it's very slow moving, um, but you know, I feel like it's coming to fruition finally, but while you've been waiting on this, I feel like you've been in a very people-pleasing energy. You've been connecting with some very draining individuals. For some of you guys, this is definitely just one person, all right? But I feel as if maybe this individual has made you feel like you uh, rely on them for something. You depend on them for something and you can't uh, move forward without them all right but it's like it's actually the other way around and as you have this victory you're going to be seeing that okay you have the six of swords to the hair font the hair font is literally a card of um, structure so I feel like you're rebuilding you're restructuring six of swords a card of moving on to calmer waters all right so I do feel like with these two wounded individuals here in the boat on the six of swords I feel like somebody may expect you to kind of take them with you or to carry them in some way shape or form and I don't feel like you're doing this they do feel entitled to that I mean the nine of Cups. This is somebody who he's sitting there with his arms folded. Okay. So basically he wants all this wish fulfillment, but he doesn't want to do anything to get it. All right. So I feel like you are blocking people off your path. People who more importantly are causing blockages for you. All right. Uh, so it's not that you are selfish or that you don't want to give. It's just simply that you don't want any draining energy on your path here as you build this new empire. All right. So the world, this is a card of stepping out of uh, one chapter and into a new one. So I like this energy for you a lot. The King of Pentacles would say that you're building your own empire here. Um, tell me more about this magician energy here for Aries before we close this out. Four of Swords, like I said, I mean, that's showing up twice, so that feels very significant to me. Sometimes with the table on the Magician um, and those tools sitting on top of that, that could be a gift that you have inherited, okay? Could be from somebody who's passed on with the World card here, the Four of uh, Swords as well, all right? Um, this could be a gift that has just been lying dormant within you in general, okay? So that could be something that's activating here as well. Um, but it's something you've been waiting on for sure. Tell me more about this Magician. Give me two more cards on this Magician, please, for Aries the overall energy here king of pentacles yeah 
for sure, strength card. Then you have um, the sun on the bottom of the deck, which is Leo energy. This represents happiness, high vibrations, joy, just new beginnings in general, right? And then clarifying the magician, you have the king of pentacles, which only confirms that this is an empire of your own that you're building here, all right? And I feel like you're letting go of people who have been holding you back with this strength card. You're persevering through any kind of limitations they've been projecting on you, okay? So this could involve a Leo, a Taurus, okay? We've got pretty much every sign out here, but this is what I'm seeing for you, Aries, uh, for the week. I do hope that this was helpful. I want to thank you so much for watching and supporting me. Um, the setup is definitely, I hope it's going to be different next time. hope my power will be back on. Um, but anyways, thank you guys so much for tuning in and supporting me, and you all enjoy the rest of your week. Bye.